Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to my channel, Indigo Goddess 1111. My name's Indigo, and I'm here to bring you your February 2018 love reading. I want to thank you guys for all coming to my channel. Without you, it would not be possible for um, me to get to do what it is I love. So we will get started right away. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? in regards to their love life in the month of February. This is a reading for um, you and whoever it is that you are thinking about. So the top row will be you, Virgos. The middle row will be whoever it is that is on your mind, whoever you're thinking about, whoever you're dating, dealing with, married, whatever have you. And then the last row will be your future of the relationship. So with that, we will get started. Spirit and Angels, can I get five cards for Virgos? Speak one through four, and then an the overall card for their energy of the month. Oh, way too many. One card for their overall energy, please, for the month of February. Okay, and then the middle row, whoever they are dealing with. And their overall energy for the month. Way too many. Okay. So Virgos, I am going to go ahead and clarify with the Gilded. So the first week, you guys have your guard up. You are protecting your heart. You are defending your position in the relationship. And, um, and you're really just not letting anybody in, um, emotionally. The person you are thinking of has the emperor in reverse. So, um, very immature, um, not well grounded whatsoever. Um, being really petty is what I'm getting um, could be dealing with an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. Since this is a general love reading, I don't really, um, unless my guides tell me, yes, for sure, this is an Aries. I usually don't, um, get too hung up on signs in a general reading, but just the majority is it's a very immature reading or um, energy. Um, they're out of their sorts. They're not well grounded. They're manipulating you. Yeah, let's get some clarifying cards for these. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Virgos? And you got the Five of Wands, clarifying the Seven of Wands. So lots of arguing going on at home, um, bickering, uh, petty fights. Why is the Emperor here in reverse? So yeah, somebody is very angry with you, Virgo. Um, the first week of February, you, um, really can't do any, anything right, right now. They're, um, oops, way too many. Why is this King of Wands here in reverse? Oh, too many as well. 
Why is the King of Wands here in reverse for Virgos? There we go. Oh my goodness. Two of those cards were the these two top cards were on the top of that pile that just I just put back. So these definitely need to come out. So you are dealing with an earth sign for sure, Virgo. Um, they are angry right now. Um, could be a Taurus, but it could be any earth sign. And right now you guys are not speaking. Um, it's kind of a really cold, I mean, you're speaking, but it's, it's a lot of arguing, a lot of, um, either giving you the cold shoulder or you're fighting with them. One of the two. In the second week of February, you are um, feeling out of balance. You're not feeling um, like this is where you should be. And they are the Five of Cups. So they are mourning um, the relationship, what's going on in the relationship. Why is this temperance here in reverse for Virgos? What do Virgos need to know about this temperance card the second week of February? What do they need to know? Oops. Oops, that's one wanted to pop out. So the Queen of Swords. So you may be getting, um, somebody's going to be speaking very, um, sharply, very abruptly bringing you truth to the situation that, um, you didn't necessarily know before. And it's going to, um, it's going to hurt because for one, you didn't see it coming. Like you knew that they were hurt. You knew that they were um, angry about something, but you didn't quite know what it was. Yeah. And I don't know what I'm going to put those back because I was thinking about those cards and I don't know where they're supposed to go. So let's try this again. Why is this five of cups here for whoever Virgo is dealing with in February? Second week, 2018. Okay, so the devil. So they are mourning. Oops. They are mourning. Um, oh, okay. So Virgo, you are offering the truth to the person you are dealing with. And it has to do with... Um, with temptations outside of the relationship, outside of the marriage, and they are now mourning the truth that you have brought to them. Um, you could have been tempted by somebody else. Um, the Page of Wands also comes out clarifying this devil. So you could be um, making them aware of a fire sign individual that, um, that you may have been tempted by yeah that's what I'm getting um and now they are mourning the loss of your guys's relationship <clears throat> but um you're going to kind of take a step back you're going to act as if you don't care in the third week um because you're preparing to walk away Virgo because you have to make a choice between two different people. Um, you are just tired of the juggling and you can't do it anymore. This is going to send your party or your party, your partner into a hangman um, phase. They are then going to step back and reevaluate um, if this relationship is worth fighting for because they've put a lot of work in and they're tired of waiting for you to decide who you're going to choose. They've known about this other person. Um, they didn't, uh, they weren't 
aware that they were still in the picture, but they had a feeling is what I'm getting. Why is this Knight of Swords here in the fourth week of February 2018 for Virgos? Why do Virgos have this Knight of Swords here? Somebody's going to come in and offer truth and clarity and um, something that you did not see, which is going to um, then allow you to make the choice to start over with somebody new, to start over fresh, have a new beginning. Can I get a clarifying card for this fool, please? Why is this fool here for Virgos? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, because you are done juggling. You are done um, working so hard at um, hiding one from the other. Um, also, the path that you choose is going to be successful financially um, oh, as well as emotionally. Why is this page of cups here for uh, Virgo's partner or person they're thinking of? Okay, page of cups. So, um... They are going to offer you their love anyways. They are going to try to get you to stay Virgo. Um, and they are going to offer you um, the hopes of a, a fresh beginning, a new start, um, a family. You could have kids with this person. And um, and they just really want... Oops. They just really want to wipe this clean and start over with you. Why is this death card? Oops. Death card here in reverse. Why is this death card here in reverse? Okay. Okay, your overall energy of the month is the Justice card. So you just, you really want um, things to work out in a fair way. Um, you just want everything to be balanced. You want to find balance back in your life. Um, for a group of you, you could be ending this month with filing for divorce. Um, because you just want to move on with your life in a direction where all your, your wishes can come true. They are trying to, um, avoid this, um, divorce or ending of this relationship because they hold their cup for you, Virgo. And, um, all these cards fell out as well when I was trying to get a clarifying card for the, the queen of wands. So, um, with the nine of swords in reverse, they're, they've done taken a lot of time to think about this. They are finally getting out of their heads. Um, but truth is going to come in. And um, they're going to find out there was a lot more deceit. Or you, Virgo. Um, there was going, there's going to be truths that come out in regards to sneaking around, um, cheating. And that is with says with the moon card as well. So, so you guys' overall um, outlook to the relationship and where it's going from here in the month of February. So, um, just remember to have strength that this is divinely guided. This is sent from the universe as you have the, um, infinity symbol. So whatever, uh, path you choose, be, have faith and have, um, yeah, just have faith that it's divinely guided. You will be finding balance again. Once you um, allow yourself to find this strength, 
The Empress in Reverse, you could be ending this relationship. Um, it could be with a partner who is your mother of your children or you are the mother of their children. But um, you're going to get out of this feeling of feeling stuck with them. You're going to um, lay down the burdens that you have been carrying in this relationship because they no longer fill your cup. And um, could be dealing with a Taurus as well, but doesn't have to be. You are going to be getting out of heartbreak with this person. You are going to get over the hurt and betrayal that they have caused you. And you are going to move on into a direction that is divinely guided, that is meant for you. Um, you are going to trust your instincts and move in that direction. Once again, you are going to be getting over this heartbreak. And you are going to have the strength to move towards your twin flame, your two of cups love. So even though this relationship that you're currently in, Virgos, for this group of you, this is not going to reside, reside with everybody just because this is a general reading. Um, so not um, everybody will be able to connect with this reading. But for those of you that I am reading for, um, that this re resonates with, I do feel you will be leaving the partner you are currently with, Virgos, and will be moving towards a relationship that is... Um, spiritually sent to you that is divinely guided that is um, meant from the universe aka your twin flame um, so by the end of February I do see you guys moving towards a new relationship so um, like I said that will not reside with everybody but um, if you'd like a more detailed reading to your personal situation go ahead and hit me up at indigogoddess1111.com and fill out a form and I will get to you as soon as I can to schedule a personal reading. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful February and God bless.